LDBC. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing TV Show Live. Okay, guys, I got to give a quick uh, response to about 12 of my subscribers that's been asking me, Coach, we want to hear your thoughts on Muhammad Ali. Um, actually, I hadn't had time to sit down in front of my computer and do this. And when I say sit down, that's a video, in my opinion, that I can't, I can't do that video driving on the road because, you know, it, it would almost be a disrespect. Okay, it'll be a complete disrespect to do that video on the road while driving, you know. I think that's a video that I need to do when I'm sitting down and when I got all my thoughts because this video to me is a video that is really close it's close to me and I really explain to you guys you know a little bit in this video but I, I'm, I have a lot of things to say about the death of Muhammad Ali a lot um, and I'm gonna talk about it from a whole different perspective but see you know, a couple of my subscribers, Zane, and it's been about maybe 10 other dudes that's been saying, Coach, we really want to hear your thoughts on this. You, you know, you got to drop the video. And, you know, when I have a subscriber ask me, Coach, could I do something simple? I, I don't mind doing it. Um, I'll do it because, you know, if you're subscribed to my channel and you're taking the time to listen to the video, whether you like my content or not, I still appreciate the fact that you're listening to the video because you could be doing something else besides listening to Coach Shelton Harrison talk about, you know, whatever he's talking about. So, I, you know, I appreciate that. Um, but I can't give that video justice driving on the road. And I hope you guys understand that. You know, I'm going to talk about a few other things, but they're going to be on the road. But when I finally can get back to my house and sit down in front of my laptop and really and truthfully, guys, really, really, you know, dive into that video, then you guys will understand where I was coming from. This video is going to be a video on the ice, on the tip of the iceberg, okay? And this is going to kind of lead me into the video I do tonight. It's going to lead me into the video. Okay, folks, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I said that uh, I'm going to make this new channel, okay? And I just, I haven't had the time. I've been working so much, y'all. It's been crazy. Right now, y'all see what I'm doing? I'm driving. I'm driving to another event. <laughs> like, you know, I got to keep the money coming. And every time I go to these events, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making money. You know, I'm doing, you know, showing people how to do my skill set. So, yeah, it's a lot of money. But here's the thing, okay? I'm, um, I dropped a video and I said I'm coming up with this Deep Thinkers channel, okay? And I don't know. I don't know what I call the channel. I still haven't come up with a name yet. But, you know, I'll make sure that, you know, the name is proper and it'll be something that fits me. But it's only going to be by invite only. And Mr. Punch-Out, he been telling me, man, Coach, you got to hurry and get this channel started. So I'm going to get that channel started tonight because Mr. Punch-Out, he demanded it. And I, and I, you know what? And I agree with him. So shout out to Mr. Punch-Out. Um, the reason why I'm going to start that channel, y'all, is, is for a couple of reasons. Because I made some really, really good videos about different things. And, and I felt like the videos were wasted. I don't know if you guys know what, that, know what I mean by that, but I felt like the videos were wasted. I wasted my time doing them because, you know, some of the people did appreciate it. You know, a lot of people appreciated the videos, but then you had a segment of just men, grown, you know, just effeminate men in the YTBC that they can't really appreciate real, real talk. They can't do it. And they can't even comprehend past the book. And it, it's, it really is the most craziest thing I ever heard. Like, there are some guys, man, you know, that pretty much, like, I'll give you an example. When I told you, when I told one YouTuber who was trying to say, well, what have you done in your life? And I said, well, <laughs> I've done a whole lot. I, I've cured heart disease. I got three degrees. And, you know, he was like, wait a minute. Why are you not rich and famous then? You cure that and you, you're not rich and famous? You see, that, that already tells me that that's a person. That's a person that's not conscious, man. That, that's a person that will read everything he believes and believe everything he reads. And I, and I put people in them categories like that. And it, and it blows my mind. Like, I really just wanted to say, dummy, lots of people cure heart disease. Not just Coach Shelton Harrison. A lot of people. I'm one of the people that know how to do it. But, man, people have been doing it, people have been doing it for a century. They've been curing heart disease. People have been curing these, these terminal illnesses. Man, they've been curing these things for centuries. I mean, you know, I, well, for, for a century. Because most of these diseases ain't even been around, you know, longer than a century. Most of these diseases are, are, are literally less than 100 years old. But he said, well, you know, why are you not rich and famous? And, you know, see, again, this tells me this guy don't understand how, how the government works. 
you know, this guy don't understand how, you know, intricate it is that when you cure a disease and you claim to do it, you pretty much, most of the time, you get arrested. But see, that's why I want people on that channel that are very deep thinkers. Now, I ain't say they got to agree with everything I'm saying, but I'm thinking, you know, hey, let me, let me really, you know, get your mind flowing and thinking about, you know, what it is I just said. People cure disease all the time. And I don't even really people think that they know, man. And people don't even know how this human body responds. This human body is a work of art created by God. It's a work of art. Well, you know, then I had another guy. Another guy, and it's always the guys that try to rationalize what you're saying. Like, they try to, they try to scientifically prove what you're saying, but they, you can't. You can't prove it by science, guys. You can't. It's biology. The human body is biology, not chemistry. And you can call it a science if you want to, but I think of it more as biology. And if you understand basic biology, you sitting at your house, you can cure heart disease. It's nothing. It's the easiest thing to cure people of. And I tell people this all the time. <laughs> when they come to me and they say, I'm having chest pains, I got angina. When they, look, I'm going to cure you in two months if you do what I say. I'm going to cure you in two months if you do exactly what I say. That, that's what I tell people. And they be looking at me like I'm crazy, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I can cure you. Easy work. But, you know, some people get it and some people don't. Or just like when I said that, you know what, I saw a demon spirit. And I looked in the mirror and saw a demon spirit. Because I was telling y'all that, you know, I was having problems. You know, like, some, some nights I get, you know, I can't move my body. And, you know, I just feel like somebody pushing me down. Like, actually taking my arms and putting them down and... And, and even one night I said it felt like somebody had their hands on my throat. So some idiot tried to come at me and say, you know what, well, won't you read a book? It's called Sleep Paralysis. It's normal. And I'm, that ain't normal. Sorry. That's not normal. And when I told him that, you know, I saw a demon, a woman that was a demon. Look, just like a woman. A, a normal woman. But she had wings. And you know what? People couldn't believe that. People could not believe that I saw that in the mirror. But you know, it's cool. But that's why I'm kind of moving over and I'm going to go to that channel. And I'm only going to invite people who actually, man, could actually think on that level. And people, it's still people running around here right now thinking that humans are the only people, the only race of anything. And that got to be the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. Stupid. There are, there are people right now who think that humans are the only, they don't even believe that they are demon spirits. They don't even believe it. They, they don't even want to conceive it. They don't even, you know what, and I'm going to tell you, when I see when demon spirits and you can tell when I see them in people is when I fast for 10 days if I ain't had no no solid food I just juice fast for 10 days I can see demons in people I can see the demon spirit living in a person people this stuff is real it's very much real but you know see those are some of the topics that I'm gonna touch on it's a lot more topics y'all it's a lot more topics I'm gonna touch on topics you know like why you know why do certain people get educated better than other people in the school system people it, man, it's so much stuff that i'm going to cover on that channel but see this and then we, we're going to get to you know the death of muhammad ali we're going to get to it because i'm going to give it the proper respect and then i'm going to give you all the telltale signs i mean pretty much people i'm going to on that channel completely man just blow your brain about just certain things how do you cure heart disease how do you cure type 2 diabetes how can you see a demon spirit in people? Like, man, I'm going to teach stuff like that. But, you know, this kind of stuff in the LDBC or now, you know, where I say the YTBC because many of the brothers in the LDBC, I can actually talk to them about this stuff and they, and, they, and they listen. I can talk to a lot of the brothers in the LDBC, man. They're deep thinkers. And some of the people y'all least expect, they're the deepest thinkers. They just don't show you that side of them. But I tell you what, guys, tonight, everything's going to get finalized tonight, y'all. Uh, the video of Muhammad Ali is coming, man. It's coming. But, again, I got to sit down and give that man, I got to give it proper respect, and that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.